In this question, principle 1 explains to us about the concept of eligibility of a person to be a member of the parliament or the state legislature. Principle 2, on the other hand, explains to us that conviction or sentencing by a court of law shall hold good unless stayed or set aside. Now, the facts in the present question are in 2013, Mr. Dharampal was convicted for the offence of theft and sentenced to jail for three years. He filed an appeal before the High Court which was admitted. After a fortnight, Rajya Sabha Speaker declared Mr. Dharampal disqualified to be a member of the Parliament. So, in this question, the correct answer would be A. That is, disqualification is justified as the conviction and sentencing has not been stayed or set aside. From the principle, it is clear that any person convicted of an offence and sentenced for more than two years. From the facts, it is clear that Mr. Dharampal was convicted for the offence of theft and sentenced to jail for three years. Therefore, the essential mention in principle 1 has been constituted. The correct answer therefore is A, that is the disqualification is justified as conviction and sentencing has not been stayed or set aside.